Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Fantasy in Bloom. So this fragrance launched this year, 2017, and is the latest addition in Britney's Fantasy lineup. And this is, if you're just counting fantasies, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12th Fantasy. Not including 99's remixes or Twist. If you include Twist, it's 13. If you include 99's remixes, it is 16. And this is Britney's 22nd fragrance, including Renner Fantasy, which came out exclusively to Brazil. So, the box looks like this, and it says Britney Spears, uh, or Fantasy in Bloom, Britney Spears, Eau de Toilette, 3.4, or 3.3 ounce vaporizer, 100 milliliter, and you've got this kind of red stripe that goes all around the box and got these kind of like pretty cherry blossoms. And they kind of go up on the top and on the bottom. And then on the back we have this gorgeous ad of Britney. Hands down the favorite ad that Britney has ever released. I'm in love with this ad. I think she looks stunning. I love the background. I love the flowiness of her. I think everything just looks gorgeous on this ad. Your bottle looks like this this time. And it's kind of that same design that um, Maui was in. And my camera just really weirdly focused on that. Anyway, um, same kind of design that Maui was in where they removed the crystals and we went with a frosted bottle this time. For refresher, this is the Maui bottle. So they kind of had that like blue frosted with the hibiscus flower. And this time it is a red bottle frosted, kind of a peachy pinky red um, with some cherry blossoms that are kind of gold. And then you've got the sprayer, which is bright red. This lid is actually tinted pink, like a pinkish red, which I really, really like that. So, probably, and I will say before I get into this review, this is, if not my favorite, my favorite, um, damn near favorite fantasy that's been done. Um, it's battling out for, between island and circus because i really liked both of those but i'm pretty sure this one's almost my favorite so top notes are luscious berries italian mandarin and secure cherry blossom middle notes are osmanthus vintage jasmine and tuberose with base notes of australian sandalwood amber and madagascar vanilla so i like i said i love 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 this fragrance this fragrance in a way actually reminds me of another fragrance and to show you guys how much i love that fragrance i'm gonna show you that so it actually a lot reminds me of Escada's Cherry in the Air. So, and I've used, between me and my husband, we've used this entire, almost entire bottle. And I'm throwing my phone now. Um, anyway, so it kind of reminds me of that, but it has a little bit of a difference to it as well. So it's not like exactly like uh, Cherry in the Air. This is kind of Fantasy's twist on it. And I almost like this more than I like Cherry in the Air. So, when you first spray it, you get those berries in the mandarin, um, but definitely there's this subtle note of cherry throughout the entire fragrance, but cherry blossoms do kind of give off a cherry vibe. So they're definitely there and definitely something you can smell throughout the fragrance. Um, but I definitely think when you first spray it, you're getting more of the berries in the mandarin with an undertone of the cherry, kind of backing it up. As you start to dry down, you get the osmanthus, the jasmine, and the tuberose. The jasmine is there and kind of gives this elegance to the fragrance. The tuberose is there, and it's not like overly powering, like powdery in this fragrance. Um, it almost adds a that sweet edge of um, tuberose that isn't done as much, and kind of people get put off a lot by tuberose because it does sometimes offer a powdery note to the fragrance. But this, the tuberose that they use in this does give a little bit of a powderiness to the fragrance, but it's more of a sweet powdery than anything. And kind of keep, and it doesn't overtake the fragrance where you're beating out the cherry blossoms and the berries, because it still does stay very fruity and succulent and juicy throughout the entire fragrance. I just like the, uh, the floral notes in the middle that kind of give a extra edge to this fragrance. As it starts to dry down, you definitely get a little bit of that vanilla, um, and the cedar and the musk, make sure I'm right on that. 
or sorry, not cedarwood, amberwood, amber and sandalwood. Today's been a day. Anyway, the amber and the sandalwood are there. They kind of give a warmth to the base of the fragrance, but not at the same time. This fragrance is very airy and effervescent and captivating and gorgeous and just, it's a very enchanting fragrance. And it very much gives off kind of this pretty, summery, flowy. The ad for this fragrance is perfect for this fragrance because this is exactly what I think it smells like. This, like, the way that Britney looks in this is exactly what I think it smells like because it's just very flowy and pretty and airy and light and elegant. It is an eau de toilette. For an eau de toilette, it only lasts about five hours on me. Um, but I've been wearing this to work and a lot of people have really, really enjoyed this fragrance. Um, and like I said, it's my one of my favorite fantasies in the fantasy lineup in a very long time. I'm in love with this fragrance. Um, I have the 3.4 ounce and I also have the 1 ounce. So I'm going to probably end up using this thing fully up before anything just because I really, really, really do enjoy this fragrance. Um, definitely a more spring and summertime fragrance. And as we're leaving spring or winter here soon fingers crossed um it's definitely gonna be a great transition scent to kind of flow you into the spring and get you kind of ready for spring and i can't wait to try this fragrance more when it's warmer out but even with it being cooler out and by cooler i mean like under 20 degrees all the time it is already an amazing fragrance and i'm loving 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 this fragrance and like I said, it's definitely the best fantasy. If, if if it's not the best, it's one of the best fantasies that she's done in a very long time. And I know some people say that they're tired of the fantasy line, but I love this fantasy line. I can continue to see the fantasy line grow and continue because they just keep getting better, in my opinion. The last three have been amazing, and I can't wait to see what's going to continue from this line if they decide to continue this line. So... There you guys go. There is my review of Britney Spears' Fantasy in Bloom. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Adas Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below, as always. Please comment down below, guys, and give this video a thumbs up. You have no idea how much that helps me. And I really do enjoy um, your guys' comments on these videos, and I love responding to them when I can. Um, be on the lookout. There will be more reviews coming. I know, like I said earlier, you guys have been spoiled this week. You guys are getting a lot of great reviews for a lot of brand new fragrances and I'm not done yet so stay tuned there will be more videos coming I can't wait to share them with you guys and as always guys thanks so much for watching bye